In this video, you'll learn how to make a stinger transition like the one you're seeing on your screen. So let's get started. Stinger transitions, those one or two second videos that helps you in transitioning between two clips. It looks really cool and helps in spicing up your content. So in this video, I'll show you how to make one in Camtasia. First of all, open up Camtasia on your computer and then click on File and then click on Project Settings and then click on Color and then in the description, I've put a hex code which you have to, con which you have to copy it and then paste it right here. I've already got it copied. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to paste it and then you have to click on Apply and then click on Media and then click on Import Media and then drop in your logo. It can be a text or any kind of image. Mine is an image that is my YouTube channel logo. I'm just gonna click on open. And then make sure you're zoomed out of your timeline. Drop in your logo. And then decrease the duration of your logo. And then zoom into your timeline by dragging it by dragging the slider all the way to the right. And then drag the logo duration so that's right underneath this 145 mark. Drag it so that it's right underneath this 145 mark right here. And then double click on your logo and then set the size to any size you want. I'm going to set the scale to 10%. And then in the left side, click on visual effects. And then drop in this drop shadow effect onto your logo. And then scroll down on the properties panel. Drag the offset slider all the way to the left. Drag the opacity slider all the way to the right. And then drag the blur slider all the way to the right. And then click on annotations. And then click on the shapes icon right here. Drag in this rectangle, this white rectangle onto your timeline. Zoom out of your timeline. Adjust the duration so that it matches with the logo's duration. Zoom into your timeline. Change the color to any kind of color you want by double clicking on the shape layer. And then click on this annotations icon right here. And then click on fill and then change the color to any color you want. I'm going to set it to a blue color, a dark one, a dark blue color. And then zoom out of your canvas by using the scroll wheel. And then select the rectangle on your canvas. Increase the size and then once again zoom out. Increase the size to its maximum size. Just like that. And then click on the properties icon right here and then set the z-axis rotation to minus 38.7 degrees and then as soon as you've done that make sure you scale the rectangle so that so that it covers the canvas and then click on animations on the left side but before you click on animations make sure you drag the rectangle so that the circle right here is in contact with this corner of the canvas make sure you zoom in to have a better look Keep it right there and then zoom out. And then click on the animations tab. Drag in a custom animation by clicking on animations right here. Drag in a custom animation onto the shape layer. And then drag the end of the keyframe all the way to the right. And then double click on the keyframe. And then zoom out. And then drag the rectangle all the way to the right. And then once again make sure this circle right here is in contact with the corner of our canvas. Zoom out once again. And then you have to play it from the beginning. And as you can see, we just made a simple animation where our rectangle is moving from this corner to that corner. Now all you gotta do is select the shape layer by dragging it, dragging over it, hit Ctrl C on your keyboard, and then hit Ctrl V on your keyboard, and then drag the shape layer all the way to the bottom right here. And then in the top, the shape layer that is on the top, you have to double click on that. And then you have to click on visual effects. And then drag and drop this media matte effect onto the top of the shape layer that is on top of the logo. And now if you play it from the beginning, as you can see, our logo is coming into view as soon as that rectangle has slid through the screen. So how cool is that? Now we're almost done with our transition, but I'm just going to add one more effect so that looks pretty cool. The thing we're going to be doing is that we're going to increase the size of the logo during the whole transition. 
First, click on the Animations tab, click on Animations, and then drag and drop a custom animation onto the logo. And, just, and then you have to use the play hat to find out the exact moment where the logo is starting to come. I think it's right there. Just keep it a bit few frames like 2 or 3 to the left. And then drag the keyframe that is on the top of the logo. And then make sure the starting is set right at the point where you, where you have placed the play head. And then double click on the keyframe. And then in the right side set the scale to any scale you want. I'm going to set it to 15%. Just like that. And now if you play it from the beginning, you can see our, our logo is increasing in size during the whole transition. And yeah, that looks pretty cool. If you play it once again from the beginning, as you can see our logo is increasing in size, which looks pretty cool. And now we're going to add one more rectangle with a different color to spice up our transition. To do that, select the rectangle that is under the logo, hit Ctrl C and then Ctrl V. And then drag in the rectangle so that it's right underneath the rectangle that is under the logo. And then delete the keyframe by selecting the arrow and then hit delete. And then double click on the shape layer. And then in the right side click on this A icon right here. And then set the color to any other different color you want. I'm going to select to light blue. And then this time you can copy this keyframe by clicking on the keyframe. Hit Control C. And then move the playhead to the right a bit. And then select the shape layer that is below the rectangle that is underneath the logo. That is this one. And then hit Ctrl V. And then scroll up and then select all of these three layers except the last one. And then drag it a bit like a few frames to the right. I recommend dragging it two frames to the right. Just like that. And then select the shape layer. And then drag and then drag the end of that shape layer a few frames like three or two to the right. And then drag in the last keyframe, the keyframe that is on the last rectangle, and drag it all the way to the right like that. About three or four keyframes. And now if you play from the beginning, as you can see we've got another layer that is the blue color underneath the dark blue rectangle, which looks pretty cool. You have to do minor tweaks so that you can adjust the size of this gap right here. I'm just gonna drag the keyframe a bit to the left like that. Now let's play one, one final time to make sure we've got everything right. Then we'll click on the play button and that is our cool looking transition right here. Now when you're playing it, it might be a bit laggy. That is because this Camtasia is taking up a lot of your computer's resources. Now if I kept this in play and if you open up the task manager on your, task manager on your computer, as you can see my GPU is at 54% so it's taking the highest utilization by Camtasia. I'm gonna play I'm just gonna close it and then you have to click on the export button in the top right corner click on local file and then click on next and then click next once again and then make sure you uncheck this one that says produce with controller because this this is only for web videos that you're gonna be putting it on the website on websites click on size and then video settings and make sure you set the frame rate to whatever frame rate you want set the h.264 profile and the level and then set the quality to whatever quality you want then click on next and then next once again and re rename it to anything you want and then and then click on this folder icon right here and then set where you want it to save i'm gonna save it on this folder right here click on save and then click on finish and then we'll start exporting that stinger transition onto your computer And then as soon as you've as soon as it's done doing that, you can just have a look at your cool looking finger transition. So you're gonna click on this three dots right here and then set it to repeat. And if you play it from the beginning, this is how our cool looking finger transition looks like. Now when you're using it for videos, all what you can do is that you can just remove this green screen chroma key right here on whatever video editing software you're using so that you can use it to transition between two clips make sure you remove this green screen right here otherwise it won't look pretty cool i'm gonna play it once again and we're done making our cool looking stinger transition so how cool is that if you find this video helpful make sure to give this video a like and share with your friends and if you have any questions make sure to put them down in the comment section below and shout out to hardy play 16 for suggesting this video in my last video's comment section and please hit the subscribe button to support me. Till then, see you later. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.